This is the number one line. It's a tram line that runs through the centre of Milan. And it's a pretty iconic symbol of the city dating back to the early 1900s. And it's a really good way of getting around. We're continuing to learn about the long-lasting impacts of COVID-19 on patients. Here in Milan, the European epicenter of the outbreak, a cardiologist has been studying the right ventricle, a chamber of the heart that is particularly affected by COVID-19. This is the Auxological Institute in Milan, where Professor Luigi Badano, whom I'm about to go and see, has been studying patients with various symptoms and has identified that significant damage to the right ventricle caused by COVID-19 has proven to be a predictor of patients who are more likely to die. Now to get my head around this, Professor Badano is gonna talk me through this condition by looking at my own heart with ultrasound. Yeah. Professor Badano, hey. Hey, how are you? Good nice to see to, you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Welcome to, to Milan. Grazie mille, grazie mille. Professor Bernardo, Milan, the Lombardy region, one of the places that was hit the hardest by COVID-19. What's it been like being a cardiologist through this, this last four months? Uh, that was uh, a real, uh, a unique experience. First of all, uh, uh, we lost our professional identity because uh, we abandoned uh, our cardiology specialty uh, at the very beginning to become intensivists uh, or infectious doctors. So we have to learn a completely different uh, job. And uh, then when uh, we realized that it was not only an uh, infectious disease, but also the heart can be involved in uh, patients uh, with uh, the most severe uh, um, clinical picture of a COVID, we started again to look at those patients from the cardiological point of view. What are some of the complexities that you have in trying to actually look at that part of the chamber? The right ventricle is really challenging because differently from the left part, the very peculiar shape of the right ventricle doesn't allow us to calculate uh, volumes uh, based on that and uh, so uh, so far we have uh, just uh, taken uh, surrogate measurements uh, to try to estimate uh, both the size and the function of the right ventricle. We're in the ultrasound room so I'll sit on the bed. Time to look at my heart. Let's do this. So what does, a, what does a good right ventricle look like? And I'm really hoping the answer to that question is going to be <laughs> like that. The, a good right ventricle is a ventricle that uh, moves uh, the base of the right, uh, that is this one, toward the apex uh, more than uh, two centimeters, and uh, it shrinks during uh, the uh, systole. What would a right ventricle look like that concerned you? Uh, a, a ventricle that is enlarged and I can estimate these uh, by eyes when uh, the right, uh, you see that uh, usually the right ventricle is smaller than the ventricle when the right ventricle is equal or even larger than the left one I am really worried or when uh, this motion of the base of the heart is reduced this is something that is uh, worrying me from uh, the visual aspect. You said that RV strain was a very good indicator in terms of the mortality rate. Yeah. Patients were more likely to die with COVID-19. Um, how effective are the drugs? Uh, if it is a pulmonary embolism, the cause of uh, the right ventricle dysfunction, drugs are very, very effective, anticoagulation, and uh, um, it's a ve very, very effective. If it is uh, um, myocarditis uh, in the most serious uh, conditions, uh, drugs may fail. If someone comes in and they're presenting with yeah. COVID-19 symptoms and they have RV strain, you have to look at them. Um, not in all patients, I, I would say, just those with the most severe presentation of uh, the disease. Um, patients uh, who have a COVID infection but are completely asymptomatic or uh, stable from the clinical point of view with the normal ECG, we don't perform echo. It's uh, too risky. Where does that line fall between sending someone home and actually being serious enough to look at them? I would say clinical pictures, symptoms, uh, ACG and the biomarkers. 
How good is my heart looking? It's perfect. It works very, very well. The, both the ventricle works well and uh, you don't have uh, any heart valve abnormalities, so you can uh, keep going uh, in uh, sport and in uh, work. So I'm okay to go for a run this afternoon? Definitely. This has been a very therapeutic experience for me, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> me too, thank you. <laughs>